Hi there, my name is Corey Arnold and I'm singing Turiddu. So Turiddu is a relatively young man with a little bit of a difficult past. He's uh, an impulsive man, he uh, can be a bit volcanic at times, um, very passionate, which of course leads to a certain amount of self-destruction. And I think his sensitivity too, he is sensitive, but when he's caught up in these moments of, of passion and vigor, he doesn't always realize what he's doing. And then he really suffers for it later, which is why, where I think you get to see that sensitivity. I think my favorite musical moment is uh, towards the end. It's really the last thing he sings. And after this sort of confusing ordeal again this you see this uh, him acting impulsively towards something that is gonna just destroy him in a minute and so he's now made a challenge with Alfio and then suddenly turns around and says to Alfio if if I die please make sure nothing happens to Santuzza who is the woman that he's not actually with but is now concerned about and and once Alfio leaves, he's left on his own and he's sitting there and he calls for his mother. And the music in that moment is sort of, it's got a melody, but it's sort of dazed, it's sort of confused. And it's this mix of the drinking and just the, the, the fear and pain that's, that's dawning upon him. And then he says, look, Mama, please help me. I, I, I think something's going to happen. I, I, uh, and then when she says, well, what's wrong? And he's like, uh, it's nothing. Nothing's going to happen. But, but if something does happen, will you please, please take care of Santuzza? And so again, you see this person who is really, really troubled and sick and has trouble really taking care of himself and making choices that feel really strong in the long term as opposed to just in those impulsive and exciting moments. I think what's interesting about this opera is it's very fast paced. When you look at the history of opera, um, it's the kind of opera that I love the most. Um, it comes from this Verismo period, which there are a lot of things that could be said about Verismo, but to me it's, it's really about every 50 or 100 years opera says we need to get more realistic than the last 50 or 100 years. And so Verismo is a little bit of that last movement towards realism uh, in the history. Uh, of course, new operas might be going different directions or going further with that. But really, Verismo is kind of the height of naturalistic and realism in opera, uh, as far as the operas that are famous from our past go. There are two things that come to mind. One is that in the time that the opera was written, not necessarily when it was written, but the time it was written about the relationships between men and women and the aggression that went on was very different from the 1950s. But of course, tensions between men and women don't really go away or change. We just express them differently. And so I think that's a very interesting part of this production. And then the other thing is uh, my grandparents came to Canada um, in, in mid 1940s late 1940s so there's a similar sort of time period in terms of immigration and I know that for example my grandparents lived all together uh, with their parents in, with both sets of parents in a small house in Montreal and so there's a it's a very different sort of lifestyle that we're talking about when we're dealing with um, immigrant communities in that time period